Hello. In this video, I want to talk briefly about having multiple ownership clauses in a search. This video stems from a question left uh, on our other video about ownership clauses. And uh, the question was, you know, how do you make a search that looks for uh, incidents owned by uh, user 1 or user 2? So this is how you do it. I'm going to go into the tool. I'm going to go to Searching and Search Manager. And I'm under Incident as an association. So here I've got a search I've already created. Incidents owned by Bruce or Andrew. So let's go ahead and edit that guy. And so we can build a search with multiple ownership clauses. Um, and the trick here, the trick is to make sure your grouping clause is set to an OR condition. So in other words, if I want to search for either of these conditions, I'm going to choose at least one of the items in the group must be true. If I wanted to search for both of the conditions being true, which is impossible because an incident can only have one owner, I would select this. This particular search would always return no results because this um, uh, an incident cannot be owned by two people out of the box. So let's go change it back to the OR clause, and if I click that, what I'm doing here is looking for incidents owned by Andrew or incidents owned by Bruce. So let's see what we come up with, and we'll run that. All right, so here we have Andrew. We have Andrew again, Andrew again, Bruce, Andrew, Bruce, Bruce, Andrew, and Andrew. So that's how you build a search with multiple ownership clauses. Let's have one last look at that again. I'm going to go into my search manager and open up my search. So here we have incidents where at least one of the following is true. That's our grouping clause. That's our or. That's our and. We want our or. And all we need to do is add additional clauses to this. So I can add as many clauses as I want. And they can be of different types. Um, in this case, I'm just using the ownership clause. So if I wanted to add to this, I want to see who owns... Uh, let's see, we did Andrew, we did Bruce. Let's see, how, how about Claire? And we can keep building our stored query this way with multiple ownership clauses.